to Smash Factor followers, Natalie Adams here and today I'm bringing you a bit of golfing advice with regards to improving your chipping and the accuracy that you have with your chipping. Now to get the ball really close to the hole all you've got to be good at is landing the ball on the spot that you've selected for the first bounce to then allow the ball to roll out. So regardless of the club that you're using if you're good at landing the ball on the, the spot that you've selected for the first bounce you'll be very good at chipping. So this is a great drill to help you improve that. All I've done here, I've got six alignment poles that I've set out on the green. You could use your own golf clubs uh, rather than alignment poles if you don't have those. And the first pole is set about a pace, a good stride away from the ball. Then the second one is a stride away from that and the third one a stride away from that and so on. So it gives me five different landing areas between the poles. And all you've got to do with this drill to help you improve your accuracy for where you land the ball is we're going to take five balls and with the first ball try and land it in zone number one between the first two poles. The second ball we're going to land in zone number two, the third in zone number three and so on. Okay, if you don't get the ball into the first zone, don't worry about it, just take another ball and keep playing until you've got the ball landed in that first zone. It doesn't matter where the ball finishes, it's all about where the ball bounces, because we're trying to improve your accuracy with bouncing the ball and getting it to land exactly where you want it to. So if it rolls out, that doesn't matter, this is all about bounce point and getting the ball in the correct position there. So with the first shot, we're going for zone number one. And you can see the ball lands into zone number two. It doesn't have to finish, it's just where it bounces. Second shot, we're going for zone number two. And you can see the ball lands in zone number two. With the third shot, we're going for zone number three. And the ball lands in zone number three. And we just keep doing that, counting up the number of balls it takes you. If you don't get the ball into that zone on the first attempt, just keep playing at that zone until you've got the ball landed there. And then once you've completed all five zones, just count out how many balls it's taken you to complete that. Now that's really good for now. Next time you play, you've got a number to beat. And if you do it in less than the number you originally started on, you're seeing some improvement. So it's a great way to practice and to monitor your improvements. It's a game changing golf tip.